welcome back everybody new video today i want to talk about something i guess a little bit different a little uh q a in a way question for anybody who has purchased the yeezy 350v to the triple whites the creams that came out a few weeks ago got a question for you um i get emails from time to time from subscribers with they want authenticity checks or see what i feel about certain shoes so on and i received pictures from a subscriber from a uh, pair of the v2 triple whites that he ordered from the goat app this is not a goat app bashing video i'm just asking a question about pretty much quality control on these triple white yeezy v2s he sent me pictures of the bottom of the shoe uh insole label under uv lights and i actually posted these pictures on twitter last week like four or five days ago asking you guys who follow me on twitter what do you guys think about the v2s and from the pictures i provided that were sent to me from a subscriber i think his name was christian that the boost looks very strange it kind of looks like marshmallows in a cup of hot cocoa or boost overfilled with air pockets and to me it looks strange so i posted pictures up on my twitter saying hey what does everybody think about this i say it's about 50 50 people who said it was real was because the quality control on these v2s were so horrible pairs came with flaws they came with stains they came with imperfections on the upper part of the shoe I guess the boost sometimes looked like it was flat, sometimes it was puffy, sometimes it was kind of glossy. So I'm going to show you the first picture of what he sent me. See what you guys think. So here is the first picture of the shoe. You see here the boost kind of just looks a little puffy. Looks a little different. This one actually really shows it nicely when he has it zoomed in. Uh, like the boost doesn't have the typical kind of like lines on it or dimples on it. And like this picture, it really looks like uh, marshmallows in hot cocoa. I guess you can see like maybe one dimple like right here maybe. But the boost just doesn't look like any boost that I've really have seen before at least on the Yeezys so I'm just questioning like your pairs do they have boost that was in such differences I had a subscriber then sent me a picture of six different bottoms of six pairs of V2 triple Y's that he has on the bottoms here you can see all six pairs of shoes the boost looks very different. So if you take, let's say this bottom left, which is probably the most similar compared to what the sub subscriber sent me, you know, it's similar. The original picture the subscriber sent me, it's more puffy and more like marshmallows, I think. But you can kind of see the boost discrepancies that it might not be be that the shoe's fake it's just quality control was pretty bad some more picture that the subscriber sent me you sent me like here is the uh, label for the box the label checked out fine in my personal opinion people who looked at it said it was fine the label here we couldn't figure out what store this came from but obviously it's a European pair but the actual box and the label look fine on it. The insoles, you know, they they look fine. But the only thing that really concerned me, he sent me some pictures under a uh, UV light. Open up all three of these. And uh, this was pretty much one of the main things that concerned me. As you see on this pair, of course, the back stitching is uh, glowing correctly. The top part, 
I don't own a pair of the, of the triple white V2, so I can't definitely say how it's supposed to look under black light. So I don't know. Some people have said that the stitching here on the toe box is supposed to glow, and this pair it's not glowing. So I don't know. I don't know if that's really something that you can really break down and decipher that, you know, this pair is questionable. Because I guess under different black light conditions, uh, I guess if the black light is aimed more towards the back and not towards the front, the back of the shoe will, the stitching will illuminate more than, than the top of the top of the shoe. So that actually might be why the back is uh, like kind of glowing or reflecting, but the top is not. So I think that might just be where the toe box stitching isn't uh, glowing. It's just because the black light is a pointed right at it. It's pointed at the back of the shoe. So I think I debunked that part of it. Paper inserts, I mean, they look fine for Yeezy paper inserts. So, and then of course here, he, he can send me a copy of the GOAT authentication card. And the employee who authenticated him was T. So, that's kind of my question to you guys is is this pair is the boost real or has the quality control just gotten so piss poor that the boost quality has gone so left and right that you can't really authenticate just by looking at boost anymore how you used to be able to especially on the easy v1s you could basically you could look at the bottom of the shoe and the boost and tell like that if this shoe was, was real or fake but since they're pumping out more now of the v2s than you know what they did of the v1s is it possible that just there's different types of boost let's say and or different patterns different textures of boost and the triple whites were maybe made in two or three different factories and each factory used different like versions of boost if you think back to the 2017 the jordan one rolls that just dropped what about a month ago how those pairs were had so many discrepancies across the board it was ridiculous i think nike came out and said that they were made in like two different factories one factory was making it where the leather was kind of like a flat non tumbled then the other factory was was making them where the shoe was really tumbled and really soft and really nice so it was possible that your left shoe was very tumbled, very soft, and then your right shoe was flat, no tumbling, where it looked like you had two different pairs of shoes because the quality of the leather on each shoe was so different from the left and the right pair. So since this triple white Easy V2 was the first time that Adidas pretty much mass produced a Yeezy, I think it's possible that just the boost is being made in different factories or something and so shoe one could have boost that's flat and glossy shoe two could have boost that's like a marshmallow and hot cocoa kind of a look so kind of curious check out your triple white yeezy v2s and drop a comment below what does your boost look like does it look like marshmallows and hot chocolate does it look like normal, just flat V2 Yeezy Boost with dimples on it, with uh, like little lines in it? How does yours look? Because um, if this is how it's going to be, people, you know, future people that email me and want authentication checks, I'm going to tell them pretty much by pictures, I can't go by it because the Boost is so different from pair to pair to pair that it's impossible to tell by a picture if the Boost is real or fake. So check your pair out. This is the Q&A part. I'm asking you guys, check your pair out. Let me know what does your boost look like? Because half the people, like I said earlier on my Twitter, thought this pair was fake. The other half thought it was real, but was just, the boost was just, the quality control was crap on this shoe. So tell me your opinions, what, what you think. And um, this is not a GOAT app bashing video. He purchased them from the GOAT app. The GOAT app still claims they're authentic. I don't know. So, what's your guys' opinions by these pictures? What do you think? Just curious.